Hi, I'm Stan Tatkin. I'm the founder and developer of a psychobiological approach to couple therapy. The three main domains, theoretical domains of PACT, are attachment, arousal regulation, and neurobiology. The theory itself is extremely reductionistic. We're very grounded, very rooted in the theory aspect of PACT. The actual work, though, is very phenomenological. It's a little bit like jazz. So we have a very strong structure. We always know where we are and where we're going and why we're doing what we're doing. But at the same time, we're given a lot of leeway to play. You know, this is not a paint-by-numbers kind of therapy. It's highly complex, a nonlinear theory, where the therapist, I think, has to really operate within the guidelines, the theoretical guidelines, but we also have a very focused therapeutic narrative, and that's our therapeutic stance, which is towards secure functioning. In PACT, when we talk about secure function, we're not talking about the person. They don't have to be secure. We're talking about principles, behaviors that are secure functioning. These are behaviors, principles that uh, are based in true mutuality, fairness, justice, and sensitivity. And this is something we believe everyone can do. I'm Eva Van Proyen. I'm a licensed marriage and family therapist and a relationship expert and part of the PACT core faculty. I met Stan over 10 years ago now, and um, I followed him to his Calabasas study group, which is where this all started, and then evolved into PACT, psychobiological approach to couple therapy. And uh, it was packed local, packed statewide, packed national, packed international, and um, now I'm part of the core faculty for the PACT Institute. A lot of PACT uh, has sort of a, a, a user interface that is friendly and folksy, not only for the therapist, but also for the couple. And some of the maxims are kind of funny, but they actually are defendable, one of the maxims. There's really nothing in the world more difficult than another person, which is actually very true. Uh, people are very, very hard. In fact, partners are extremely hard. Kids are easier. Pets are very, very easy. Plants are stupid easy. Uh, well, maybe not. I don't know. I'm not very good at plants. So anyway, but the point is, is that adult partners are very hard. People are very hard. My name's Jeff Schultz. I'm a certified sex addiction therapist from Arizona and licensed professional counselor. And I'm a PACT Level 2 uh, trainee. I first found out how much I don't know about doing couples work, or didn't, when I first met Stan, heard him speak, and found out from there I really loved doing couples work and wanted to get much better at it. There's something special about seeing a couple who is really struggling with a whole lot of things that are not right. Um, in other words, the same argument again and again and again, and they believe about that argument that's, that that's their problem, that money or sex or uh, cleanliness or any of you know, kids, all these just different things. They think that's what the problem is. And in our work together, we pull the, them away uh, to a certain degree from that and help them see that what they really have a problem with is knowing how each other work. I'm Michelle McCormick, and I'm a licensed clinical psychologist. I practice down in Newport Beach and Laguna Beach. I've been practicing for 30 years. Nothing has really uh, touched my couples like this work. Couples who come to me have often been to other couples therapists um, and they're, by the time they get to me they're just so frustrated because couples therapy hasn't worked for them. So after I do the initial assessment we dive in and they are shocked at how quickly they can move through their issues. So we kind of have uh, you know something we call the PAC serenity prayer. This is mostly to regulate the therapist and it kind of goes like this. I am a couple therapist these two people picked each other. They're in each other's care. Therefore, what they do or they don't do is really not my problem. My job is to move them towards secure functioning. And then we repeat that as often as needed, and that really holds the therapist uh, professionally in a discipline that keeps the focus. So not only is this doable and the work actually kind of enjoyable because we do a lot of play. This is also fun for therapists. And I know when therapists are starting to get this and it takes about a year to start to uh, have this feel integrated, uh, they report that they're having more fun in their practice, they're enjoying their couples. Uh, my name's Kara Hoppe. I'm a marriage and family therapist intern. I have a practice in South Pasadena and I'm also the PACT program manager. Being a new therapist, 
It helped me find my voice with couples. I was nervous about how I'd be able to do that. And working with Stan helped not only me find out how to do it, but how to make it fun. I've always said that couples therapy is, is like a contact sport um, because there's so much action and it's so different than individual therapy. And now it really is a contact sport because it's about body. We're staging things, we're surprising people, we're doing things to get bodily reactions in the face, in the voice, in reflexes, micro expressions, micro movements that tell us where somebody is, who somebody is, what they really want and what they're up to in therapy. We are like uh, CSI investigators. We are looking for evidence. We are examining details in such a way that people um, may not know what that we're doing. It's a very, very strategic approach. And the reason it's strategic is because we're looking at the animal that is the human and not getting too caught up in uh, the way that we uh, can talk and explain ourselves. That's not really where people are, we're looking at what people do. We're trying to catch people in the act of being themselves. I don't care as much anymore about the content of what couples tell me. Now it's more about the process and what I see them doing with each other in their bodies. And I move them around the room and I move around the room. They just don't sit on the couch anymore and talk to me. So we do things uh, to bring about experience. Instead of talking about it, the pack therapist has to think of ways of creating an experience. We uh, set fires and put them out. We teach people how to get in and out of trouble, how to manage uh, uh, the storms, how to manage each other. One of the biggest things that I've noticed that helps couples have skills that they can take out of the room is that when, during conflict, knowing how to tense up a situation, being able to talk about anything, and then the release that's so important. Like that couples, a lot of couples that I see don't know how to do. Like in the middle of the argument, to laugh. Conflict is part of being in a relationship, but they're learning how to get out of conflict, to have resolution, to be able to move on. And that to me is just a huge, different way to be in relationship and PACT taught me how to do that with people. And as the trainings progressed, there's developed for me a kind of sense, uh, an intuitive sense. This is what I see. I know this. I've seen this before. This person is thinking this way. In a sense, I found them. Uh, like a parent finds a child with their eyes. Um, I notice them. I know where they are. I, I get them. And so in getting them, uh, I can almost hear Stan's voice in my head, go with this. Right? Why are you doing that? Why is that a good idea right now? And as they move closer, it's really something to see. It really is. Um, she softens or he softens and everybody learns. It's totally helped my own relationship, applying these principles of true mutuality for both people. What's good for me and what's good for you, finding those win-win situations. I do love that I've been able to train with Stan. Um, it's sort of the, at the feet of the master, so to speak. Working with and training with Stan is a downright blast. He is so much fun. He's dynamic. His mind goes a zillion miles an hour. And pretty much, I wish I could take a USB cord and just plug my brain into his. It's a dynamic form of couples therapy, and I'm just really grateful to Stan uh, for his uh, knowledge, his passion, uh, and his capacity to share it. He's an amazing teacher. You know, I'd, I'd like to say uh, that all of this came about uh, strictly through my, my learning and my teaching and my practice, but that wouldn't be true. I went through a divorce, and that set a whole process of not only my being very depressed, but being obsessive about what went wrong and what happened. So PACT was developed out of also out of a lot of despair. <laughs> A lot of pain and a lot of personal suffering and curiosity um, that drove largely uh, a, cr a creative process of integrating a lot of different ideas out of personal need. But also my marriage to my wife, Tracy, did a great deal in informing me about secure functioning. I would say that most everything I 
began to develop around secure functioning came out of my own experience with it, with my wife, Tracy. And so, you know, a mixture of a really bad thing happening and, and then a mixture of something really good happening and then all my lovely teachers that I've had in my life as well all have really, uh, you know, um, uh, produced me and produced this approach.